Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 14th Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the while loop. Now if you go ahead and look up in the top left corner of my video just above the video you'll see a banner there which was created by a user by the name of Mystery Man. Now you can go ahead and head over to my channel and you'll see you'll find a link to his channel um, in the other YouTubers section. Now even if you guys wanted to make me a banner, um, you can go ahead and still do that. Um, this is going to be pretty much open forever. If you think you can make a better one, then you can submit it to me. And if it's better, then I'll put that up there and use yours. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Now, if you remember the for loop from the previous tutorials, what it, do what it does is it, um, it will run a block of code a certain amount of times, and that's user-defined. So we know how many times it's going to run, um, no matter what. Now with a while loop, this can run as many times as it's needed to meet a condition. So to create one, let's just go ahead and use the keyword while. And while takes some arguments. So we want to do this loop. Let's go ahead and add brackets here because the while loop is enclosed um, in brackets. So inside of this um, parentheses, we're going to need a condition um, that needs to be met. So you can see up here that I created a variable called int x, and I set it equal to 0. So what we want to do is we'll do y, while x is less than 20. So as many times as it takes before um, x is um, equal to 20 or greater, it's going to run this code over and over. So this, Let's just go ahead and we'll type console dot right line and we'll just print out x and we'll convert x to a string because right line takes an overload uh, or an argument of a string. So if you're looking at this, you may have already figured out that this is going to be an infinite loop because x is always equal to zero. We haven't done anything with x and it doesn't change. So it's just going to print out zero over and over and over. And that's not a good thing because it's an infinite loop. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Now, what we want to do is we want to manipulate x. So how about each time the loop runs, we're going to add 5 to it by using x plus equals 5, which is equivalent to x equals x plus 5. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. So we'll run it. And you can see it starts out at 5, 10, 15, and 20. Now you may be wondering, why didn't it start out at 0? Well, because we add 5 to it before we write out what x is equal to. Now, if x is equal to 20 or greater before we even start, it's not going to even run uh, the program at all. So you can see if I run this, we get no output at all because um, x is not less than or equal to 20, so there's no need to do the while loop. So um, go ahead and practice with the while loop. And let's go ahead and do one more thing. We'll add 3 to it this time. And you can see it goes to 21. Now you may be thinking, why is it doing this? Well, it's not exactly like the for loop. If we were using a for loop here, it would, um, it would stop at 18 instead of 21 because it can't go over 20. Now let's take a look at why it does this. Well, the first time it runs, it's while x is less than 20. So x is equal to 0 the first time, and it adds 3. So it comes up here, checks it again, and it says, um, is 3 less than 20? Then yes. It goes down here, 6. Is 6 less than 20? Yes. Um, let's see, 9. Is 9 less than 20? Yes. Is 11 less than 20? Yes. Um, let's see, 14, 17. Oh, wait. I messed up somewhere. Well, it gets up to 18 is less than 20. And when x is equal to 18, when you add 3 to it, it makes that equal to 21, and it writes out 21. And so then when it comes back up here, it says, is x um, less than 20? No, x is 21. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and head on down to after this bracket and run whatever comes after that, which would be console.readline. So go ahead and practice with your while loops. Um, and once you've got us down, 
go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.